Now, as you can see, the property has military level security. The locks on these doors are the same as the ones on the vaults of the Bank of England. Get inside then! Now, as you can see, these walls here were built by well sought after Edwardian craftsmen who are unfortunately all dead now. This is a perfect example of 20th century new build. This luxury apartment is on the market for an affordable £1,500 a month. Note the post Falkland War design. That's just the Lord of Chaos. We see a lot of him around here. As you can see, the landlord takes security very seriously. After you. As you can see, the landlord has put a padlock on the inside of the door here. We do recommend that you lock this as the local children do like to climb over the walls and beat the shit out of anyone that they find. Now over here, we've got your very own toilet that comes with the property. Here you go. What's that? Yeah, about that. Last tenant was a crack dealer. Lovely chap, but his profession did get his head chopped off. Rob him legally, that's what I always like to say. Speaking of which, that'll be 1500 for the rent, 3500 for the deposit, and another 500 on top for the administration fees. That's quite a good deal for this area. Yeah, I know. We have to keep the prices low in this area in order to be competitive. I'll take it. Give me your phone. All right, all done. Weirdo. profession did get his head chopped off. Meet ladies in your own area. Well, most of our users are women. Well, that must be true. What sex are you? A uh, male. What is your height? Uh, five t six foot. What color hair? Brown ish eyes. Compelling build. Athletic stroke average. What are you looking for in a woman? Breasts. <sighs> Must be like Pinocchio. No strings attached. <sighs> I'm funny. Now upload photographs of yourself. What, now? Um. What 
best photographs to use on dating app. Willie's boobs and bums. Yo, 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 motherfucker. Welcome to the Real Man Channel. I'm Bradley Brad Branson, and tonight I'm gonna show you how to be a real fucking man. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm gonna show you be a real fucking man. Okay, first of all, hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, okay, done that. Good. Let's go on, man. Man, this is gonna fucking help you, man. This is gonna help you get some pussy, man. This is gonna really fucking help you. I'm gonna give you three tips, man. Three mega hot tips. How to get more likes, dates for your followers on the daily now. Willies, boobs, bums. Okay, if you're ready, okay, step one. Okay, step one, smile. That's right, step two. Women, they like confident, sexy photographs. So be confident, be sexual, be daring, and above all, smile. Nice boobs, baby. Mm. Step three. Never in the history of mankind has any woman ever refused sex with a man wearing a uniform. Never, ever. So if you've got a uniform, put it on. Put it in that photograph. I want you to go do that right fuck now. Don't put that on now. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, me too! That's it for this week, you fucking weirdo. And I'll see you next week when I show you how to be a real fucking man. Bye. Right then, I'm gonna get me a uniform. Yeah, baby. That's right, baby. I'm hot stuff, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so hot, baby. You can call me down. I'm hot, baby. I'm so hot, yeah, baby. I'm I'm triple Gen X, baby. Yeah, hot stuff, yeah. Mm. Gonna handcuff it to my truncheon. That's right. Can you take it? Can you take it? Yeah, baby. Mm. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Mm. Naughty officer. Mm. Hello, my dear. You are feeling strange right now. Good my attraction. <laughs> yes, you are feeling weak. As you come to me, come to me, come to me, my dear. <laughs> Look into these eyes. Oh, they are compelling and brownish. Cha 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 Is this your time of the month yet? Please consent to Willie's boobs and bums for using all your photos, videos, location, voice activation, all consumables, all dows of friends and family. Well, yeah. What could possibly go wrong with that? Please press yes and get ready for love. Like, 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 seen before, like, like. Seen before, like, like. Oh my god, I got a like. She's got breasts. 
She's got breasts and everything. She says hello. Hello. I like proper music. What music do you like? R&B. I like R&B too. Do you want to go for a coffee? Yeah, baby. I want to go for a coffee. See you next Tuesday. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Yes. Gonna get my wheelie in. 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 Huh? Sorry, something has come up. Contact you next Tuesday. Weirdo. depressing. What did the last occupant die of? Suicide? Someone cut his head off.
Lucky him. Right then, love, what do you want? What's the cheapest? Uh, hand job, 40 quid. I'll have that then, please. Give us your phone. Right. That was well worth the bus journey. If you haven't popped your weasel in five minutes, I'm off, regardless. You'd have to finish yourself off. I'm sure you're used to that. Come on then, let's see what you got. Fucking hell, that's small. No wonder you're single. Are you sure you're not a transgender? I mean, I've got a, a large clitoris or something. Nah, no, nah, I'm, a, I'm a bloke. You poor sod. Hope it doesn't burst open. And that's an extra 20 quid for keeping a straight face. Oh. Seems a bit better, but still. <laughs> Is that it? Gosh, it was hardly worth bothering with. I mean, you can't breed gerbils with that. Here we go then, love. Compliments of the chef. I normally give a bloke a handful of wipes, but you know. I should take off the extra 20 quid off your account, as well as travel expenses. Oh, and don't call me again. I'm not jumping on the bus to flick a peanut. Weirdo. for letting us in to search your property and browse your computers. We are the British Government Broadcasting Company. As I understand it, you are watching television without a licence. Isn't that right, Officer Reverend? Yes, ma'am. Three bags full, ma'am. Goody, goody. 
Do people still watch TV then? Officer Brent, search this establishment for TV, sir. He doesn't have a TV, Mum. Three bags for Mum. He doesn't have a TV set. No, Mum. Three bags for Mum. Traitor! Am I? Officer Revenant, please check this man's internet viewing and mobile phone internet. Thank you. Already have, Mum from the office this morning. No live TV viewings or anything that might show independent or objective thinking, Mum. Three bags full, Mum. Goody good. So, question. Why don't you watch TV? For the same reason I don't listen to Tommy Trinder or watch The Good Life. I much prefer next. <laughs> Don't you say that word to me. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Honest? You stand there blatant ripoff of Tony Hancock, Rick Mayle and Aid Edmondson and you're saying you're being honest. You have no regard for the BGBC. Come on, Officer Ribbon. Some people around here don't know what we feel is good for them. Hmm. Weirdo! Phew! That was a close one. Or anything that might show independent or objective thinking. What do you think, Sheldon, eh? Palace or what? Palace? Isn't this the place where that bloke got his cut off? No. Well, should we get down to it then? I think the bag was kicking in at any minute. Oh, look! You're a lovely bloke in that! Well, look! I really let myself by coming here. You're twice my age. You smell like something I don't know. You look like you're going to come in your pants and pass out at any moment. I found more charming cardboard boxes. In fact, you're outshined by cardboard boxes. I don't mean this in a bad way, but cardboard boxes have more attraction than you. I just thought it would make a difference coming back here. But I can see I'm just making it worse. I've fallen out with my parents again. Every guy I go out just, just ghosts me after two or three months. I'm going from job to job, man to man, hope to hope, dream to dream, bottle to bottle. And nothing is changing except increasing death and this feeling that I deserve better. It's time I pulled myself together and not waste time with losers like you anymore. I'm sorry, but you're a really fucking weirdo. Right, this kicks in. I found more charming cardboard boxes.
Victory. Too much about that, mate. My name's Graham, and I'm originally from Chelmsford, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> and I'm going to be your serial killer for today. Oh, oh, I, I don't feel all right. You'll feel as right as rain as soon as I cut out your intestines and stamp on them. <laughs> <laughs> Here, what's going on? 